it is the first day of food and wine. Uh Um, we were just wandering around and McIntyre's booth was already open. So we have um, the Impossible Chili and Cheese Vegan Mac. Um, so there is, as you can see, it's a little meaty um, with the Impossible meat. There's beans in it, some unmelted cheese per usual, um, some crunchies, and then of course mac and cheese hiding in there. Oh, and a, and a little dollop of, not Daisy, <laughs> vegan sour cream. Like the idiot's idiot's little Fritos too. Ooh, they're the good noodles. They're the big spiral ones. It's super creamy. The chili on it's like fine, but the mac and cheese is so good. Like I would just get the mac and cheese, but you can see in the bottom. I think there's a lot of cheese sauce like hiding down there and stuff too. So it's a pretty good portion. So. Ah! Psych. There we oh, is it that one? So the McIntyre's booth is inside the Communicore Hall behind me. Um, the more we ate it, it um, was less cheesy and more greasy. It was fine. Um, mac and cheese is my comfort food, so I'm a total snob when it comes to that. Um, but I mean, I'll get that one again. It just wasn't as good as the one they had like three years ago. So on to the next one. We are over at Shimmering Sips, so this is my favorite thing. This is the guava cake. Um, so it's very similar to the tres leches that they do during Flower and Garden, but um, it's guava. Um, so yeah, it doesn't look super wet compared to the tres leches, but it's usually a pretty moist cake. The child screen. There we go. You can see that. Super moist, heavy guava flavor, sweet. Um, I mean, it's a it's a perfect dessert. I'm always happy to have this one. So if you like guava, ten out of ten recommend. That's really good. Super moist, super guava flavor. I like the coconut on top too. Nice little crunch. Got the fried falafel pita here. This is from Tangerine Cafe in Morocco. Um, additionally, the stone brown bread plate, I believe is what it's called, with assorted dips. We, we know that's hummus. My brain cannot remember what that's normally called. Um, and then there's that one. Um, so they are assorted. <laughs> it's a guessing game. Um, the pita has lots of flour on it and I already want to wipe my hands off, but I can't. Um, gonna go in all the fillings are on the very bottom you've got I don't know if you can see in there at all but there's like cucumber and onion and tomatoes hiding under there and lettuce as well so. I don't know if the falafels cooked all the way um, usually it's a lot fluffier this is um, a little bit like uh, chickpea paste is yours like that too a little undercooked I, yeah, New Year's. Um, <laughs> you ate it. Um, usually this isn't one of my favorites. Their falafel here used to be like my favorite thing, but it's fine. I'll leave Corey to eat the rest of that one. Um, the bread they were making while we were there, so it was really hot. It's cooled down now. All right, I know that's hummus, but I want to know what these ones are. <laughs> 
It's an assorted dip. Um, it has a little bit of heat to it. I like that one. It almost kind of has like an eggplant-y flavor to it. Or the green one. Why can my brain not remember? I know it's like a coriander something. I cannot remember. It's good. It's very oily. Um, I don't know if that, which one has a little bit more heat, but they got a little little heat going on. The hummus. <laughs> Tastes like hummus. Um, I do like the bread more this year. It's really, really soft and airy. Um, it's kind of like a cross of a pita and a tortilla, but like without being like dense of a pita, but lighter like a tortilla. It's fine. It's good. I didn't want to eat this. <laughs> All right. The, yeah, that falafel definitely not cooks. I'll try the other one. Yeah, I've been into it and I was like, this is mushy. <laughs> That one looks better. No? We'll get there eventually. The outside is very crispy. Yeah, the inside is like a, a paste, if you will. I think it's made them too big. But then now you can see, we'll get to the good spot here. Get all the veggies in there. I'll eat this part. <laughs> it's crispy at least. Good. Pretty be more like a pita feeling. I had a cornmeal on it. Kind of weird. Like the most generic hummus you've ever had in your life. Um, nothing special about that. Yeah, it's super oily. What is that called? <laughs> I forgot already. Termola! We figured it out! <laughs> it's pretty good though, but tell me oily. I'm gonna add a little bit of heat to it, so I'll try the other one if it add more, right? I think so, but then I wasn't sure which one. I don't know, I like the brown one. It has some heat at the end, but it's uh, smoky, which I actually like that one the best. But the hummus is probably the my least favorite. It's the most generic hummus ever made. Yeah, and this is weird. It's like bottom of like pizza crust. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's kind of like a pita and tortilla mixed together. Kind of odd, but it's fine. Um, we stopped at the grease booth. This is the impossible moussaka. Um, so on the top it's got like a bechamel um, and then on the inside it ha should have potatoes, obviously impossible, and usually eggplant. So. Yes, that's hardy. Oh the balls in the background. It's got like a little cinnamony sweet flavor to it. Um, I like it better than last year's. Um, still not my favorite, um, but it is pretty good and enjoyable. It's a nice little portion size for like a snack. Um, it's no Greek nachos, but it's still good. I already don't remember which one it was. Anyway, hi, over at Refreshment Outpost, you can get this impossible spicy sausage or spicy impossible sausage. Not sure remembering what it is. Anyway, it's got a peri-peri um, aioli on it and then some peppers. This is an impossible sausage, not a beyond, so. Yay. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, don't. I'm not, not loving that. I'm gonna bite on that side. <laughs> not that it's Even better. That, <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> looks nice and plastic. Casing is a little. Um, I am gonna preface this: these Impossible sausages usually um, absolutely wreck my stomach, so I will not be eating this whole thing. Um, I don't know what it is about the Impossible sausage in general, um, but they're not good. Uh, it's really soggy on the bottom. It, uh, it's clearly been sitting in this. That's okay. Yeah, Face says it all. Don't love that. Um, the texture is really. I don't know. I don't know how to say the texture is. It's not right. It's very mealy and mushy. Um, it has a good heat to it, so I like that. But um, that's that's what one and done for me. That's not very good. So. Okay. So Corey and my other friend also tried that. Um, Corey said I didn't, I described it worse than it is, but I think it's because he heard me say it, so he knew what he was getting into. But they both agree that it's very mushy. It reminds me of, um, there's like these vegan Vienna sausages that we used to eat all the time, um, that we ordered some more of like a couple months ago, and they are super dry and just like mushy and not uh, good flavor, but that sausage ain't it for me. <laughs> So next to refreshment outpost is India. So we also got the potato and pea samosas. These are the exact same as last year. Um, they have like a coriander lime cream on them, I believe is what it is. Um, I don't know, I really enjoyed these last year. So I'm sure they're still just as good. They're very large. These are warm too, they seem fresh. Are they fresh when, they, when you got them? They pull them out of a so they are fresh. thing. Out of the fryer, no. out of the... Oh, out of a warmer? Fresh. <laughs> good they have like a nice like low heat to them the crema on it there's plenty on it so you actually get it with your bite it's got a good texture inside as well and then the outside is nice and crispy so still good all right we are inside brewing we're gonna get the um, buffalo tender things soon but um, I'm gonna eat this hot tofu ramen while I'm in here since the noodle exchange is out right in front of it so we've got tofu bok choy and mushrooms and then some peppers in here and obviously noodles um, and just looks like carrot it comes with a tiny little plastic spoon and chopsticks so I'll try the broth as it is it's flavorful it's good at least the broth that's it's definitely like um like a soy heavy broth, but that's, that's good. I never got this last year because we never came back once they like opened this booth and it's also really hot, but this is really good. I would get this like later in the evening when the sun's not beating down on you at 12 o'clock. Um, but no, this is, this is a really enjoyable little ramen. I would recommend it. You can like smell soy sauce. It's like, yeah, straight soy sauce. So Corey says it's very, very salty, like straight soy sauce. I do agree with that. Like it's flavor, but like it had, I don't know. I feel like usually there's like no flavor, so I guess I'll take the soy flavor over that, but. Well, you can just like, you know, drink, like slurp the broth by itself. Maybe do it one time, it's super salty. And even just eating the noodles, I feel like it's pretty salty too. At least it's got some flavor. Okay, 
right, so these are the um, Impossible Chicken Tenders. Um, they're buffalo, I guess they forgot our sauce or something. It's <laughs> looking pretty sad. Um, it has like a vegan ranch and blue cheese on it as well. So also the bottom of my tender is missing all of its breading. <laughs> It's a chicken tender. There's no buffalo sauce on this at all. Um, so, if you like buffalo sauce and yours comes looking like plain tenders, I would ask for some buffalo sauce because there's literally none on here. I can see like where there was clearly like a drizzle, but this one has absolutely nothing. So, that's cool. Um, also, I'll put this over here. So. Um, the frozen tea drink is still vegan. So these are um, orange um, ice cream molecules is what they're calling them. They're basically just like little dipping dots. I don't remember specifically what the flavors are. I want to say it's like pomegranate raspberry or something. So. It's too frozen, I can't drink it right now, but I will let you know later. <laughs> Alright, I was able to get like a little, just a little bit of um, some liquid, but this is, this is, I think is frozen. So, we're gonna give this a try. Nope, we're still not gonna give this a try. I think it's just stuck. Let me get my spoon out. We're just gonna do this. <laughs> All right, the paper straw on frozen things just usually does not mesh well, so. Mm. I like the little orange things, those are yummy. Um, it's just like a nice light, nice, light, refreshing thing, and you get to keep this cup, but don't put it in the dishwasher. Don't do it if you get it, don't put it in the dishwasher. Um, so we stopped by the fry basket. These are the adobo yuca fries. Um, it looks like you still get five pieces. They go heavy on the sauce, so everything should be good. They're very crispy. I can feel it. ASMR. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm it's a little on the salty side but the sauce is super creamy. Um, it's nice and soft on the inside, crispy on the outside. These are still a, a good option to get. So. Alright, we have our final dish. So they um, redid the slider. It's now like called Montreal or something. It has some unmelted classic vegan cheese, tomato jam, and it looks like a ton of vegan mayonnaise on it, and then some lettuce. I have pretty medium expectations on this. <laughs> right, we're gonna squish it. Ta da! The burgers cooked really well. The tomato jam is like nice and sweet. Yeah. It's fine. Like the previous one was way more creative and had way more going on. Um, this just tastes like a burger. I can't say I would be running to get this one again. I'm really let down because um, this used to be such a good option, but I don't know. But you can see like the blackness of the burger, like they cooked it really well, but. It's fine. Alright, that's it. That's a wrap on our day here at the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. So it goes until all right, it goes until end of November, um, right before Thanksgiving is typically when it ends. So you have plenty of time to come here and try everything. Um, 
Obviously, please take all of my reviews today with a grain of salt. It is the first day, which means we have first day jitters. Sometimes things are not good, um, and sometimes they're good, and then they're not. So hopefully things improve and the ones that I didn't love. Um, but I hope you enjoyed following along. Um, if you would like to help support some more content like this, I do have a link below that's called Buy Me A Coffee. Basically, you can donate $5 to me, um, and it really helps it so that we can come out and do these kinds of things and try help food for you guys. So thank you for following along. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm so full, and I got to go get some chocolate mousse to take home to my kid and then um, continue the rest of my Thursday. So thanks for watching.